What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's debate, the battle of the giants, Vance versus Converse, which one's the better shoe? They're both inarguably two of America's most iconic footwear brands and by example of these four shoes on the ladder today we're gonna examine which of the two has the better shoe for you. <laughs> did not mean to rhyme, but it did. We're gonna take a look at price, comfort and styling. Let's go, let's start by talking about what is probably one of my all time favorite sneakers that doesn't give away the ending of this video yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> the white canvas high top, all-star, Chuck Taylor, Chuck's Converse, so many names for the shoe, I think it's absolutely epic. It's a beautiful, slim design. It's priced at $55 for the canvas version, which is an absolute fair price. They're not the most comfortable shoes on the planet. I think that's pretty much well known. It was quite honestly a little bit of a surprise finding out that this was a basketball shoe compared to the comfort you have in basketball shoes today jumping about. But I absolutely love these. I think they're great value. This is probably the fifth time, as you can see they're brand new, the fifth time that I've bought them. I bought them, worn them, destroyed them, and then bought them again. You can throw them in the washer. I think this is a classic, especially in this colorway. You have the white, red, and blue. Talk about an American classic. Definitely one of my favorite shoes. Let's talk about the alternative from Vance, the other high top, and that is the old school high top in a navy and a medium blue. Like, I really like this blue. I don't really, just don't know how to describe it, but you can see it, so I don't have to. I really, really like these shoes. First of all, the combination of the two colors I think really really works then we always have a little bit of a white element in here so uh, makes it really easy to pair with jeans and a white t-shirt versatility is endless what I don't love about these shoes and I'll take that away early is the padding here that on the aesthetic side I don't love so much but that means a lot more comfort when you wear them overall Vans I think are much more comfortable than the Converse are but you also pay a tiny bit more you pay ten dollars more which at that point is 20 percent we're only talking about fifty dollars to begin with so a 20% increase sounds a lot more than $10, but I still think that they're very affordable at 60 bucks. But if I had to choose a high top, for me personally, I think that battle would go to Converse. When we're talking about low tops, that conversation is looking very, very differently. I purposefully did not select any slip-on sneakers, nothing of the new designs, collabs. I think for both of the companies, I love the classics. I love monochrome color schemes. In this case, we have two colors, but in the same scheme, it's still very, very simple. Which now leads me to the two low tops that I did choose for today. The black low top canvas sneaker from Converse and the yellow old school sneaker from Vance. It's my favorite low top silhouette at Vance, so uh, the authentic I like as well, but not nearly as much as these. Much like the high top, they also have a material combination of suede and canvas, so they make it a little bit more high quality. And again, you can make the same comfort argument that you could with the high tops. That is why this shoe is a little bit higher priced at $60. Well, these are $50, and I said a few times before that those are 50, those are 55 and 65, $10 difference, not 20%, sorry. I just re round for you, now you know. $50, $60, $10 difference, now we're talking about the 20%, and those 20% you pay for the comfort and for the suede material. When it comes to the styling, and that's the, obviously, as a fashion guy, probably the most important thing to me, any time of day. I really, really gotta say, I've never liked the low top Converse. Not only on me, I think on anybody. I think the only ones who can get away with wearing these are girls, and that's not to call them feminine or anything, I just, the only time I've ever liked them was on a girl, I think. So, stylistically, definitely these, which leads me to... Honestly, I have to say, I think, I think Vance is the, is the better brand, which I honestly have to thank you guys so, so much for because up until recently, I exclusively wore Converse. Like day in, day out, I love these shoes and I still do. But I think the high tops are just slightly behind the Converse high tops, while the low tops are vastly in front of the Converse for me. So overall, I think the little bit of price that you pay extra really is worth it for the comfort and the styling overall. So that is my opinion. Now I'd love to hear yours so that I can I can go off in the in the comment responses in the next video. So please let me know your thoughts. Vance versus Converse, what do you like better? What's an argument that I made that you disagree with? What's your argument that, that I missed? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. And now we're rolling into the comments from the last video. The first one I got for you is from Ben Layson and he said, I've been getting some suits from Mango Man recently and this video has some nice tips I can use. Awesome. First of all, I love Mango Man. Haven't shopped there in honestly way too long. I just haven't really been in Soho out shopping. That's usually the one Mango Man I go to. 
But I love that brand, beautiful stuff. Check out the website if you don't really know them all too well yet. They're based in Spain. It's a great brand, I think. Ravi Sarin asks, could you do a video on affordable jewelry accessories when you're still trying to develop that style? I love the rings and bracelet you wear, but not sure where to get some more affordable but not awful quality jewelry because I'd like to see how I incorporate them into my wardrobe without spending hundreds of dollars. Hope that made sense. Yes, it made sense. You've explained yourself, absolutely. When I started out, I actually got a lot of jewelry from like Top Man, especially rings, because I thought they had cool rings. They aren't the best quality, but if you kind of just want to rock that style, I still have a few Top Man rings that, that I wear. They're just not silver rings, but they definitely look good and you can experiment with that style. So that would be probably the first address I'd send you to. Otherwise, I mean, honestly, uh, my buddy Ali, who, the rings that I wear, yes, they're not cheap, but for how good they are and how well designed they are, I actually think the price is, has, is a pretty, pretty fair value. They're called Surge Denim. I'll, I'll just put that link down below for you guys. Again, um, assuming that that's still too much for you. ASOS, ASOS has some uh, affordable jewelry, but honestly, man, like, with jewelry, it's, it's, it's materials that you pay for. Yes, it's a little bit of the design. The material is what makes the jewelry that much better. So I think you can always find something that's pretty stylish. Foregoing the price point, you're also foregoing the quality somewhat. It, it just has to be that way since silver is a natural resource and there's a, you know, just a general price that people would pay for it. Two replies to that would be that would be a uh, quote. Cool. All right. A couple of y'all agreeing, so I'll get on that. 18 likes. I'll, I'll put that on my I'll put that on my to-shoot list for you guys. George Davis wanted to know how about a video showing off your favorite and or most worn outfits. You have a great sense of style. Thanks. Thank you. I yeah. Honestly, I don't really know. Like I don't I don't really have a favorite color. I don't really have a favorite food. Like I try and bounce around and try different things. I'll do too much of one thing. I'll get bored of it and then switch it up because I keep I have to keep it versatile for my own sake, but I think that's that's great for you guys because so you can see, you know, inspirations in different styles and like try and keep keep switching it up. I am planning on doing like a style 101 video where I just go through a few, a few of the most basic looks that are like iconic and cool and easy go-tos also for me. So I'll be doing that video soon uh, in the LA apartment. So stay tuned for that one. Caesar Jean said, always bringing value, my friend. This is awesome, typing while watching. Thank you. Value is something I feel like offering value is is what you what, what's awesome is that you need to do that on YouTube. YouTube almost almost forces you to offer value because if you're not entertaining or informational to for me valuable things, then why do you have a channel? Like nobody's going to want to care and I'm I'm trying to to get you guys as much info as much of what how I think about fashion for you guys and, and hopefully the most entertaining manner possible. Not the most entertaining, but like in an, an entertaining manner. It's, it's secondary to the info. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. I never knew that you could style a suit with Vans or Converse. Thank you for always inspiring me and influencing the way I dress. Awesome, and I, I feel way more confident. Yes, exactly what fashion is about, exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to be like, this is your rules, follow this. I'll, I'm just sharing what I do, what I think works, what I've seen work on other men. I want you to figure out what works best for you so you can feel more confident on a daily basis through your sartorial choices that you make. And that's that's phenomenal. Thank you, man. <laughs> Justine Ramaz said, you ignored my comments so easily. Not mad at all. I was so excited that you see, uh, that you skipped it and my heart broke. Thank you. This time I didn't skip it, all right? I read it out loud. It's just, I'll be honest, it's weird if, if I love you guys. That's why I said like I love you guys for all the positive comments and all the all the praise and all the all the great work. Do this. You're the best. I like I so appreciate it. But I get awkward if I read that about myself and I'm just like in front of the camera I'm like, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so that's why I skipped it. I prefer to get, get back to the comments that are a little bit more uh, that are asking questions, suggestions, like a little bit where I can actually say something other than thank you. So that's the point, but but you know, at the very least, I can drop hearts for you guys. So I'm gonna do that right now. Gwinium said, "Great work lately. Keep it up. I'm planning to." At what age did you get your Piaget Polo S? I absolutely love this watch. Greetings from Stuttgart. No Z man for skate up. I got it three years ago. It is my first luxury watch, like my first the first timepiece that I was like, damn. And it was actually a gift from the brand. Really good to answer comments this way. It will be constant. Why? Yes, it will. Unless, uh, unless you guys have any any particular reason why I shouldn't be doing this. 
<laughs> because like I said, much prefer talking to you guys than writing comments. That's why I'm a YouTuber and my blog, I don't really write anymore. <laughs> Sadif Rahman said, I utterly believe there are some rules of styling, but one shouldn't be too concerned about it. If it makes him or her look good, it's good. What I really like about it is that you're exploring um, new stuff, which barely others do. Keep doing it. Agreed, absolutely. There is, agreed, 100%. There's some stuff that 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 is written in the books, which, yeah, know it, you know, like never buttoning the bottom button of your blazer. But, you know, if you know that that rule exists, like if you go deeper and you know why the rule exists, and you know that that rule exists because the Spanish king was too fat to button his jacket all the way and then made it a rule that nobody could, then you start questioning a few things and you're like, it's a functional button, the buttonhole is not closed, I could put it through. If you want to make that stylistic choice and rock it that way, rock it that way. So that's just one example of like, yes, there's rules, but you don't necessarily have to adhere to them. It's definitely more important, in my opinion, to, to do what makes you feel good and makes you look good. My friend, you inspired me big time once you switched out the white tee for a colored tee. Awesome, <laughs> simple inspiration. Hasrat Udin said, thank you brother for always giving your honest opinion about fashion. You're very different than any other guy on YouTube. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Does your brand ship to Mexico? I really like the design of the whole brand. Keep on doing videos more regularly. More regularly. I'm doing them pretty regularly. <laughs> we do not currently. We have some big news coming in September for the brand, so stay tuned for that. And then uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking into international, global shipping. We just had the issue that it was too expensive and we didn't even want to offer it for you guys if you had to pay almost as much as you pay for the shoes just to get them. Nana asked um, what the name of my motorcycle is. It's a, it's a Triumph Thruxton. It's a 2015 Triumph Thruxton. I absolutely love that bike. I did custom work to it. I had the, I had the tank done. I had the seat done. I had the wraps around the pipes and stuff. Then we got three really dope comments from Funny, Eric, and Max. Thank you guys so much. Like, I'm, I'm stoked that you guys are liking what, what I'm doing lately. Philip P said, uh, would love for you to do something more sophisticated for guys who already know how to dress, but help them reach a new style level. Hope you read that. Greetings from Germany. Nochmal zurück nach Deutschland, was geht? Honestly, I feel like my advice kind of applies to everybody a little bit. Because a lot, of, a lot of the general outfit inspirations you can take if you don't really know what you're doing and you can just copy the outfit. But then a lot of the like little things that I try and point out in my videos, like the styling tips and tricks are what, like, if, if you want to put like beginner advanced levels on it, like it's a little bit more advanced. It's like training your eye for like those minuscule details in the outfit. I think that's really what's going to take it to the next level. Do a hundred dollar outfit challenge. I've done those, I'll, I'll, several of them. Check out my YouTube channel. You're on it right now. <laughs> okay, time is flying, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick out a few that are a little bit uh, that seem a little bit more substantial that I can talk about. Let's go. Zion said, "Okay, now tell us um, how to get the pants to fit so perfectly." I also have a video for that. It's uh, how to tailor your pants. It's on my channel. If you look it up or just browse through my my videos a little bit. Adam said, "I've been using a technique of front front quarter of t-shirt." tucked in lately and it's working so sick it makes me feel like my belt is accidentally showing which reveals my pro match belt just in case anyone happens to look with me while I'm in public. It's so much better than letting your t-shirt completely over the belt. I tried uh, I tried back I tried it back in the day but it wasn't sure if it was too obvious like look at my belt you know but I don't think it gives that effect at all. It just really brings the whole outfit and system together. I like to tuck the front left, just feels right. You only need to tuck like half an inch because this is my because any more than zero belt does all the magic you need. Awesome, yeah, exactly. Tuck it in, show your details, show your accessories, make your whole outfit one big thing. What do you think of oversized suit with sneakers? Oversized suits, so I actually meant to mention this in the video, like fashion suits and like making a statement absolutely works. You gotta rock that. If you're trying to make a fashion statement, yes, absolutely. You can break a lot of the rules that I was talking about if you want to and if you make it a stylistic choice. Not a fun of suit, thank you, bye, bye. <laughs> Blackheart says, I really hate suits and going too official with my look, so I often end up going for smart casual. Like the like the one I wore for my friend's wedding. I have white shorts, white shirt, and a dark gray vest. Also a great converse. Actually that'll be cool if you make a actually that'll be cool if you make a video on smart casual style looks. I guess it's not a thing that's getting popular nowadays. Yet it need a smart it needs a smart approach. Interesting. I'll look into that. <laughs> Raz Jimke said, just down. Well, I did. And you guys should too. Don't let Raz Jimke tell you how to live your life. 
Somebody said this channel is so overrated. <laughs> Wait, this comment actually made me, made me crack up. <laughs> What's up guys? Ha ha, no sé hablar inglés. Saludos desde México. <laughs> Saludos, hermano. <laughs> okay, and then there was one more. Um, honestly, where and in what context does one wear outfits like this? Seems too casual for a professional office environment and too dressy for an average club or bar. Any thoughts, anyone? Um, I'll dress everyone at the bar, yes. I, I, I do that. I don't know, maybe it's maybe I've been in fashion too long, maybe I've, I've lived in New York for too long. I wear a suit when I feel like it. And to me, that's that's whether I'm wearing a pair of jeans and a blazer with a t-shirt and sneakers or boots or whatever. That's like semi-casual. I, I rock that on a daily, just for fun, to feel good. To wear a suit, feel strong and still be comfortable. That's why. Anyway guys, that about sums up today's comment section. Thank you so much for leaving all of those and please feel free to leave more down below because as you guys know by now, I'll be responding to them in the next video. Until then, stay dapper guys, bye. And I wanted, uh, which now leads me, simple, right? Simple. Which